we are right now. So we're still uh, hoping to get our uh, the data recovery done this week. Lieutenant Bill Ungru is the tech guru at the St. Bernard Police Department. His digital know-how has spared officers here a lot of pain other departments are dealing with right now. The records management software from a company called Securus isn't working. And that created the question of what are we going to do at this point? And fortunately, we had our old software, which we call CPR, Computerized Police Report System. For now, St. Bernard is using their former software from almost two decades ago. They also have backed up information on hand to help them continue operating. Yesterday, a group of police chiefs from across Hamilton County sat down exclusively with WLWT. They shared their concerns as a massive server failure left them with lost data and no reporting system for nearly two weeks now. Just uh, standard reports that we would have to take for cars being broken into are taking officers hours longer than it used to. Officers at more than 20 police departments across Hamilton County are having to work around it. For many, that means stacks of handwritten reports piling up, zapping time and money. Any spare time you have, you're coming back to do paperwork before going out and handling the next call. To balance cost and efficiency, these departments stored their data in the cloud on the company's servers. They say they were assured there would be numerous backups. This cost is an issue when you're dealing with municipalities because unless you've got grants available, funding is just, you know, you'd rather put your money into officers and get them out on the street. But some chiefs say this data catastrophe could cost more than money. It could put safety and court cases at risk. The Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office usually has access to the system, and for now they are working with the affected departments to keep the information flowing in other ways to make sure cases go on as normal. Hopefully they'll figure out what happened and make sure it doesn't happen again. All right, now departments we've spoken with say they spend between $3,000 and $17,000 a year for this service. Now they're standing by for their data to be restored, which they hope will be completed in days. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5. Dan